Okay, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about salt. I don't take salt. Why not? Well, I got hypertension. Well, in the second part of this video, we're going to talk about why having not enough salt is not only unhealthy, it could kill you. Kill me? Why didn't my doctor tell me? <laughs> I'm Helma Volk. This is Gordon. Hey there. And the first part of this video, I'm going to talk about things in salt that you should be aware of. Okay, I'm going to talk about additives in salt. Because not all salt is pure salt. They add stuff like iodine. Well, that's not the bad stuff I'm going to talk about. Iodine is vital for your thyroid. But if it's not in your salt, don't worry. You can get that from some multivitamins. You have to look at the label or from other supplements and seafoods and whatnot. But I'm going to talk about anti-caking additives that some salts add. Like, for instance, here, silicon dioxide and sil anything silica or something silica something. Uh, and it's, if it's got the word silk in it, uh, beware, because according to Dr. Leonard Caldwell, a doctor, yeah, <laughs> he said that these silica stuff, it's the same thing that sand is made of, same thing that glass is made of, only in very minute, 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 minute tiny, tiny things that can get into your bloodstream from your digestive system. And the problem with that is it can abrade your arteries and tiny little scratches in your arteries build up to more scratches in your arteries and what happens? Your cholesterol goes in to patch the arteries. Cholesterol's dead. Well, cholesterol is vital for you. <laughs> cholesterol is trying to help you by patching those arteries but the problem is not the salt that's causing the artery problem. It's the additive of silica stuff that's damaging the arteries, your cholesterol is coming in, it patches it up, and you got a more and more buildup of cholesterol patching your arteries, then you got problems. Okay. But it's not just in regular salt, like table salt here. And uh, by the way, uh, Morton does have grinders that they sell which has not got additives in it like <laughs> like caking agents. And it's not just in salt. And you, you're not always safe if you get sea salt because some sea salts, you have to look at the label. If it's got an anti-caking agent in it, look what it is. And some anti-caking agents have uh, aluminum something or something aluminate or whatever. Uh, aluminum is allegedly linked to Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's, well, allegedly. And it's not just salts. Anti-caking agents are in other stuff, too. Like what? Well, spices. Not all spices, of course. You have to read the label. This one's got silicon dioxide. And I had some other... I don't use it. I'm about to throw it away. But uh, I've had some other spices that I bought. I looked at the label. And it's got silicates in it. Um just a, a small amounts, not much, but if you want to keep something from caking up, put a couple granules of rice in there, uncooked rice of course, to absorb moisture. Uh, there's other salts that come. This kosher salt, the only ingredient, salt. Himalayan salt, it's... I don't know if any other salt is healthier than salt salt, but if you look on the internet, there's a whole list of trace minerals that Himalayan salt might have in it depending on where it's harvested from or dug from or whatever. Uh, this I got at the dollar store. It's a product of South Africa of all places and uh, but it's got imported Himalayan salt from the Himalayans I suppose or whatever. Got this from the dollar store. Sea salt in the grinder. These grinders, unfortunately, you can't reuse them. Uh, so if you, if you want to get regular salt, you can buy grinders for salt. Uh, this is a sea salt. 
The only ingredient is sea salt, but beware, some sea salts, you have to look at the label, contain anti-caking agents and often they contain silicates. Uh, other powder products that you might get, such as powdered milk or creamers or whatever, might have anti-caking agents that uh, contain things, even if it's not silicates, they might have something cyanide or, or other things that may not be that healthy for you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't swear. Well, this video's going on long enough. So there's another video on why salt-restricted diets and low salt and all that stuff and low sodium is actually unhealthy for you. I can't wait to see that one. And if you can't figure it out, in the upper right-hand corner there's that little funny-looking doohickey circle. Just click on that. You'll see. I show you myself that my arms don't work that way. Okay? But anyway, share this video, subscribe, and uh, share it with your friends, okay? And leave a comment below, because I know you disagree on some stuff, okay? Maybe you agree on all of it, I don't know. Just do something, okay? Just do it. Yeah. Gordon.